<laughs> nice mask. Thanks. Monkey pox? Nope. It's still doing the original. Vintage, I like it. Kind of like bell bottoms for your face. Did you hear the people that run Biden decided to cancel student loans? Yep. What are your feelings on that? Well, I think instead of having the person who decided to take out a loan based on their own free will to pay their loan, it's a much better idea to have you and I pay their loan through our tax dollars. It kind of does drive home the lesson that self-responsibility isn't gonna get you anywhere in life. Exactly, and we get to have all the expense of paying for college without getting any of the degrees. I'd pay money not to have a degree. You are. Oh, also, did you hear Mark Zuckerberg on Joe Rogan's podcast? I didn't know Rogan had a podcast. Yeah, he started one. He's just trying to get the thing going. How was the Zuckerberg interview? Well, listening to an interview with the world's most boring person, you'd be surprised at how Mark Zuckerberg was the exact amount of boring you thought he'd be. Sounds riveting. Oh, and I think I heard someone say that Mark talked about how the FBI instructed Facebook to censor the Hunter Biden laptop story? Yeah, and I think Mark did a masterful job of pinning Facebook's fascist policies on the FBI's fascist policies. How so? Well, when Zuckerberg wasn't being a sociopath, he was being a sociopath who said the FBI came to Facebook right before the laptop story broke and warned them that there would be upcoming dumps of Russian misinformation. How'd the FBI know that was coming? Because apparently most Russian misinformation comes from them. And Zuckerberg just went along with it? Oh, he definitely went along with it. Did Rogan press him on it? No, I think Joe knew the Clinton body count would be going up by one if he got too curious. Oh, and speaking of the FBI, Apparently, an FBI whistleblower told Senator Ron Johnson that the FBI refused to investigate the laptop story. With one boss telling their agents, you will not look at the Hunter Biden laptop. Why would they purposely not investigate it? The FBI said they didn't want an investigation to change the outcome of the 2020 election. I appreciate their integrity because it would hurt our democracy if truth and reality influenced how people voted. Do you think the FBI's raid on Trump was legit? 100%. A Jeffrey Epstein attorney who's now a judge signed the search warrant for the FBI to go into Mar-a-Lago. Why do you think the FBI hasn't raided anyone to get Epstein's client list? Oh, did I mention that Epstein attorney is now a judge connected to the FBI? Yeah, but I still don't see the correlation. You don't? I don't. Well, your refusal to see the obvious now makes me feel insecure about my observations of the obvious. Which I will now abandon for the sake of believing a comfortable false reality, just like you, rather than believing a terrifying true reality. I appreciate the companionship. And besides, we know the raid was legit because the FBI took pictures of the secret documents they were after and posted them online. Which proves Trump put the country at risk for having those secret documents because you can't risk letting people just see those secret documents. You gotta keep them a secret. Yeah, I think you're right, because if it was a fabricated raid, they wouldn't post pictures of the secret docs online for everyone to see, because that would prove there's no evidence. I'm a little concerned about Europe. Why? It's just that they're in a major energy shortage right now because of Russia shutting off energy exports to them, and also mostly because of the World Economic Forum. Yeah, apparently what we think of as civilized countries like France and Germany are going back to the Dark Ages because of a lack of energy. They sure are. Over there, the price of oil has doubled, the price of coal has quadrupled, and the price of natural gas is seven times more expensive. And with winter coming, it's expected that most people over there won't have heat. And we're on a similar trajectory. It sucks for them, but that could never happen here. <laughs> I get really nervous when people say that because it's usually a really bad omen about what's about to Don't worry, we should be good. Look, upon taking office, Biden had the foresight to shut down the Keystone Pipeline so instead of us being energy independent, now we're dependent on Russia for energy. And now with us sending billions of dollars of aid and weapons to Russia's enemy that they're in a war with, we should have nothing to worry about because that could never happen here. Yeah, you just said it again, and I feel much more nervous than I did the first time you said that. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, with a Rhode Island-sized country of Russia, we're doubly good because Biden is obeying the marching orders of the World Economic Forum and their Green New Deal. But when their green policies are implemented, 
they just create poverty. Exactly, that's why it's good. When they reduce people's access to fossil fuels, people can only be a small fraction as economically productive, which then means they're poor living in poverty. And when people are poor and living in poverty, they can't afford the energy that they already couldn't afford. And therefore the demand for energy goes down. Yes, that's exactly what happens. I guess I just don't see it as a good thing. You gotta try optimism, man. The glass of the economy isn't half empty. It's completely empty. And you just gotta condition yourself to see it that way through enough gaslighting. Oh, and California's leading the way on that. Did you see they've banned the sale of gas powered cars by the year 2035? only electric cars from then on out. Yeah, and did you see six days later, California then told their residents not to charge their electric vehicles because their power grid isn't strong enough? I, I could be wrong, but it seems like that's a problem. How can the state force people to use electric cars when they can't even provide power to charge their electric cars? Again, not a problem. Most people actually can't afford to buy an electric car, so that problem is actually a non-issue and therefore their solution is valid. Hmm, makes sense when I don't think about it too much. Oh, speaking of California, did you hear Governor Gavin Newsom's wife's parents donate money, not to his campaign, but to Ron DeSantis' campaign? Yeah, maybe they know something that we know as well. Probably. You've been watching CNN lately? Nah, not really into science fiction. You should check it out. I just saw that the Google Play Store banned Trump's Truth Social Network. Shocker. Yeah, apparently it doesn't have enough censorship to protect Americans from free speech. I think they should be careful because it's starting to look like they're starting to think about maybe pondering the idea of thinking about using fascist techniques to eliminate their political opposition. Whoa, obviously not even close. I'm just saying I think they should be careful because when the political optics show what they're actually doing, it makes them look a little suspicious. Well, I don't know about that. I guess we'll have to agree to agree on that. Are you gonna be homeschooling your clumps of cells this year? No, the indoctrination camps are free. Plus it kind of creates a survival of the fittest situation for their minds. And I'm curious to see if my kids' minds are strong enough to survive. That's a very optimistic way of looking at the abuse. Well, I've got to go cut some firewood. You going camping? No, I'm just going to give it a valid attempt to survive the upcoming winter. Good luck. <laughs> hey, is that the FBI? Shit, I've got this domestic terrorism symbol on my shirt. <laughs> it is good to be in a democracy.